I think it's going to run out. I think it's going to run out probably could be by the end of this year. So I could basically buy the store. You could. You could. I got your checkbook. Buy your precious metals online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold and silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. How you doing, Tim? Um, not bad. I'm going to try to get out of here for a few days. Yeah, you're heading up to um, uh, Montreal for yes. the Grand Prix? Yeah. That's great. You and, deserve um, a break. Yeah, I think I've seen every one of my customers. I've talked to every one of my customers this week so far. So everybody knows I'm not going to be. I, I said I'm not sure I'm going to be open on Thursday. Right. Oh, I was just about to check on a delivery. Um, that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. It is taking a long time for some of these packages to arrive at their destination. You mean drop ship? Um, the drop ships are actually, they're predictable because they keep us informed. And when they assign a tracking number to it, that means it's on the way. Yeah. Um, it's the, the things that I give to the post office that are registered mail. Mm -hmm. um, it's very safe. They do have to lock them up wherever they go. But if you're in a dinky little town out in the Midwest, we found out that sometimes it goes over there and then over there. And it, wakes, it makes its way through several towns to your destination. Um, but it has to be locked up every step of the way. Right. So, you know, Chain sometimes... Sometimes it'll spend three days in Boston, depending on what plane they have to put it on. I had one that was re returned to me because they, um, they never put the postage on it. And it's possible, you know, with a small label, it's possible that there was a corner up and it stuck to something else. But um, they hand carried it back from Boston. Wow. You know, like a courier. From Boston. Yeah. yeah. Came right in hand. He said, Wow. Um, did you pay for this postage? And I got my all my, you know, the the receipt from the post office, mm -hmm. the uh, registered mail receipt. And I said, yeah, I definitely did. It was quite a bit of money because it was a pretty expensive package. And um, he said, okay, then take your information and go back to the same post office. And I did. And um, uh, the next day, I went back to the post office, and the, the, one of the clerks came up to me and said. That was my fault. I apologize. You know, I, I didn't know that if I put a label on it, it stuck to something else or mm -hmm. whatever. But mm -hmm. um, you know, that was my fault. You said your daughter's going to help you out while you're up in Montreal? Um, with a little luck, she's going to come with me. Oh, good. good. And I think we're going to have packages. Um, we have some coming in today, probably tomorrow. So. Mm. I was concerned about the wholesaler, why things are taking so long, and, and um, boy, are they busy. And I've talked to, I think they have between, I don't know, seven and ten traders, and I know I've talked to all of them at one time or another. Um, the, the volume is really crazy. I don't even remember how many monster boxes of Buffalo Rounds we had on order, um, but... Um, in the last few days that we've received six, I think. Ooh, you have and, silver now? Well, yeah. <laughs> One guy, his honor, oh, he said, I think he said it was February. I didn't think it was that long ago. The gentleman I spoke to outdoors, yeah, out he, the, right outside the door? I think it was March, but he it could well, be. Well, he could said been, February. Could have he been did. February. He's like, check this out, Yankee. Shook my hand and he said, I'm patient because I only want to deal with Tim. Well, you know, we had um, several orders at the same time, mm -hmm. and um, he said, you know, don't. He said, you know, if you need to give that to somebody else who's been waiting, go ahead. Wow. And, you know, so I, I probably slipped a few boxes to other people. Not everyone's like that. There's some that are, are like, where's my medals? Oh, yeah, we get <laughs> calls every day. I mean, you, you heard the last call. I did. It's the combination of things, the Philharmonics and Maple Leafs, and they're, they're on a different schedule. Uh, I think the Canadian Mint has done a remarkable job of recovering from, you know, when they were in April, I think they were down because of the, the amount of demand. Um, and we're still not getting American Eagles on any kind of a regular schedule. 
Mm. Um, I think the price is starting to drop maybe a little. But um, Premiums, I thought, were coming down just a bit. Just a bit. Just yeah. a bit, yeah. Not a lot. What do you have now? Um, I still As of have... the making of this video, I need to say, because I want people yes, to realize. Yes, that's right, because <laughs> things change every day. Every day. Um, American Gold Eagles, uh, Gold Buffaloes, um, Gold Maple Leafs, mm -hmm. Silver uh, Maple Leafs. Uh, I think I have more Buffaloes on order. Um one ounce, five ounce, ten ounce bars, kilogram bars. But it, you know, it goes out the door here a lot faster than I anticipate. Uh, so when I, I place normal orders, thinking I've got a, everything covered, and then people show up. People show up in huge in numbers. Droves. It's amazing how quiet it is right now. But well, I think people know that I'm not supposed to be here today. <laughs> Oh, 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 you told them you I told, were I told everybody I, I may be closed on Thursday as well. Oh, this worked out really well for me. So I could it basically did. buy the store. You could. You could. I Got your checkbook? No. <laughs> Do you find, after you've worked a long, hard day at the coin and stamp shop, do you feel a deep satisfaction that you're helping people protect their wealth, and prepare for what's coming? Yeah, definitely. And they're, they're, the people that we're dealing with, and you know this as well, are very smart people. Um, they're, um, um, you know, for the most part, religious people. And, um, you know, they, are, they know their position in, in life, and uh, they know their, their own finances pretty well. Um, and, you know, everybody might need a little guidance. You know, I need yeah. guidance from my daughter every now and then when she comes in here, she finds out that her system is more efficient than my system. And you're teachable, really? I am definitely teachable. When it comes to my daughters, I'm teachable. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Not everybody. You but it does give you satisfaction to you know you're helping people. Yeah, and it's, it's very important because um, it's getting more difficult to find certain items um, just by the, the way that the price of 90% is creeping up, I think it's going to run out. I think mm -hmm. it's going to run out probably could be by the end of this year and run out. I don't know where, where, you know, a wholesaler, where they even get the stuff. Um, but I had, you know, one conversation about, I was ordering constitutional and, um, you know, I, I said, I, I placed my order, and then I said to the guy, and the phone was ringing. You know, I was on my cell phone, and the phone was ringing, and I said, now, well, how many bags do you have left? And he goes, oh, four or five. I said, okay, i got to get this call. And I, I couldn't even concentrate on the call. I was thinking, why the hell did you not order those four or five? But that's, this is a big wholesaler, and if they only have four or five bags left, um, mm. And I, you know, I'm sure that's improved because I have ordered more since then. But um, that means there really isn't a lot out there. Where have you protected people from messing up when it comes to buying silver and gold? Especially new stackers, people who aren't used to Well, there to are stuff. things that are overpriced. There are a lot of things that are just gimmicks. Mm -hmm. um, everybody, it doesn't matter if they're an online dealer or a local dealer, are, are having shortages of something. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, are we, do we all have the same pricing? I kind of doubt it, but um, we have other expenses that we have to concern ourselves with, like the <laughs> cash deposit fees. Oh, my word. That really... um, cut yeah. into the profits. Yeah. Well, the Fed just decided yesterday to hold interest rates steady. Uh, their decision to raise interest rates to the level of inflation, because that would stop inflation. Right. Um, that's been tried before, you know, specifically back in the 80s. It didn't work then, and it's not working now. So why keep raising rates when it's not working? Uh, well, it all happened at the so-called ballot box. And, um, I mean, have they done anything about it? Nope. Republicans haven't done anything about it. Uh, they don't understand how they keep losing uh, elections. Uh, and um, I'm not sure there's a whole lot of fight left in them. I may just send him some money this, this year for his campaign. It's, it's gotten out of hand. You, know, I, you don't like the way he talks. How do, you, how do you think teachers are talking to your kids? 
Is that is that preferable? That's a conversation I have ten times a day. Um, they're still indicting ham sandwiches, apparently. <laughs> and um, I mean, if he doesn't have good enough lawyers, considering the the number of visits um, the FBI or whoever uh, went to Mar-a-Lago mm -hmm. um, and what they said to do and you know all the claims they made. Um, that's all a matter of record. So if there was something that he shouldn't have had, why did they not pick it up then? Why did he go throw a lot on the floor to, so they could take a picture of it? Uh, you know, there are just so many things you can pre present in court. Uh, I hope they just they they uh, present, you know, ten thousand items of why this is not right. Because uh, it's, it's not right, and the people understand that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, all they're doing is they're campaigning for Trump. And um, at some time... They're boosting him in the polls? They're uh, solidifying his yeah, base, when, maybe even growing they, when it? When the polls go up to 60% Trump and, mm -hmm. you know, 10% Biden, maybe they'll wake up. They opened Pandora's box. They started something that they are going to see happen all the time in each election cycle. We've never seen... No, the lead it's, it's, opposition you're candidate right. attacked it, it, like this. You know, it's, um, and the, the, I think the Republicans or, you know, any of their lawyers and, you know, the, uh, Grassley's about the only person who's actually uh, exposed some of the negative stuff that's been going on. Mm -hmm. But um, we actually have a sitting president who um, said something like, oh, I told Zelensky you fire that prosecutor or you're not getting your $6 billion loan. What do you know? They fired the prosecutor. We have a sitting president who admitted to extortion, extortion of another world leader. I, is that legal? Or is that possibly an impeachable offense? Republicans? If they regain the White House, they need to prosecute. Period. They're going to prosecute they need him to find his entire an attorney family. Attorney General <laughs> who would you know, even prosecute uh, Garland, who has you know, broken every rule and you know, every protocol available to him, um, including sending the FBI after uh, mothers who are protesting at school board meetings. I mean, this this sort of nonsense has to stop. Mm. But why, why handle these people with kid gloves? Get the hammers out. If you, get, if you retake the White House, stop this stuff forever because it's a small minority that want to control every country in the world. We, you know, we got the globalists entrenched in Washington and everybody's afraid to buck the, the globalists. Well, it's time to buck the globalists. Get them the hell out of this country. And you know who I mean. All right, so what silver and gold do you have for us today? I have some Krugerrands and some Maple Leafs. So these are the Krugs? This is gold. What about silver? What about silver? Yeah, what kind of silver do you have? Do you still have rounds? Oh, what's this? Oh, these are precious. <laughs> At the Miami Grand Prix, they have the Porsche race, and it's these guys are terrific. Yeah, it's, uh, that's always a fun race because they you can hear them all around the track. They, you know that that Porsche sound. FBI is already jotting down notes from Yankee stacking. You know? No, they aren't. Let's see, well, it's going to Canada. <laughs> Uh, who do we have in Canada? <laughs> oh, we got a couple of marksmen up there. <laughs> you funny guy. Not so much silver. Um, I have lots of different types of silver, but not any any quantity. Mm. Um, so if I wanted a tube of something, tube of rounds. Uh, well, I, I have uh, tubes of buffaloes. I don't have your maple leaves. I do have a hundred ounce bar. Do you? Yeah. It's, Your metal refineries. Now, does anybody have a box that would fit that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> right. well, 
It won't match. <laughs> that is amazing. Two packages coming in today. So. Oh, that's good. The, the gold turn around yet? The big gains just evaporating. Nothing's really going to happen until they lose control of the situation. Another bank failure mm -hmm. or uh, runaway inflation that they can't tame it. Oh, banks will fail. J.P. Morgan will just buy them. <laughs> With a little help from the taxpayers. I mean, that if, if it happens in public in Switzerland, yeah. you have to assume it's happening here, right? Mm. I did, did, how, how many days was it before uh, UBS acquired Credit Suisse, before the government decided to take over the situation and bill the taxpayers for it? I mean, it's, and that's Switzerland. They're like almost a free country, aren't they? <laughs> when it happens, Tim, it's going to happen quick. And there'll be a cascading loss of confidence. And no matter what they do, no matter what tools they bring out, no matter what reaction they have, it's not going to satisfy. People are going to run. There, there's certain people in a certain party who, um, you know, they call their billionaire donors on the phone and say, don't worry about a thing you're taken care of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Again, back to my first point, you really must gain a lot of satisfaction at the end of a long day knowing you're helping protect people and you're helping them prepare for what's coming because it is coming. It is, yeah. It, it's, um, it's very satisfying. Unfortunately, it's, it's taking a long time to get stuff. And um, you know, it would be nice if I could just you know, go to the trunk of my car and put this in the box. That goes to you. This is yours. You know, it just doesn't happen yeah. that way. Well, be patient with Tim if you're ordering from him. Check out the description below. He tries to satisfy your orders as fast as he can. He's got his daughters helping him out, so, you know, hang in there. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're smarter than I am, so. <laughs> Thanks, they're buddy. Very well organized. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you're not going to print all this stuff. <laughs>